I have tried quite a few times to make a video and something happened where I get cut off. So I'm back trying to do it again. Not exactly happy with the way the system is working and how I'm constantly getting things incorrectly stereotyped toward me as a man of color. I try very hard to make my peace, tell my truth, explain how I feel, but I'm not politically correct. People of color will not work together in America. They never build anything and they always looking for a Caucasian acceptance. They don't see their validation in themselves. They only see validation by what Caucasians and other races see in us. And that is our biggest problem, in my opinion. There is no way possible we could be successful if we're constantly trying to only follow what the European culture dictates. I'm a single parent. It's very difficult for me to do anything on my own as a single parent. But I'm being forced to do so much on my own. And I got conned out the suck. I got, hmm, I got conned out of the stimulus money because my children's mother criminally stole the money, claimed me without my permission, claimed my children without permission, got all $7,000 of the money, been claiming me for years that I didn't even know about with my children until I tried to find out about the stimulus because I qualified and found out I couldn't even access my own information because she stole it. And these females are unapologetic about their actions. And you literally have to go and press charges against them or, or, or make a claim and, and I go to the authorities for fraudulent actions in order for them to try and act like they didn't mean to do it, for lack of a better words of explaining this shit. I can't own any property in America because America is not going to work fairly with especially men of color. You own your property, but you pay taxes on it. And if you fail paying taxes, they could take it back. They have all kinds of ways of making you owe them, even if you're not working anymore. All those things are very well for young people now, as far as getting a job, easy, be self-sufficient, pandering license, or whatever you want to call it. When I was young, they didn't have that. If you would do these things, it would be considered a crime. So me trying to be my own boss because nobody will hire me or pay me what I qualify for because of my skin complexion, it would be a, a crime. And I would literally go to jail for it. Like all these young men who used to sell weed, a majority are still in jail right now because they was just trying to make a living because they had no other way. Everybody don't want to assimilate Caucasian culture. Everybody don't want to follow their just over broke policy that really doesn't help us whatsoever. But you look at any other race, you see them out here selling fruits on the side of the road. They don't get harassed by cops. You see them selling food on the side of the road, going door to door. They don't get in any kind of attacks. But the minute a person of color do the same thing, they are scrutinized, 
put in jail, stereotyped, and put in a high demand of incarceration. Men of color have always been under the microscope for being criminals, never respected, and always put down. And unfortunately, in this country, America, most men of color are like crabs in a barrel, and they will continue to pull each other down and never support each other against the tyranny done by their own race, the female counterpart, as well as other ethnic groups who benefit off the backs of what we did by getting civil rights and stuff. And now they reap the benefit and look down on the same person of color, which is the original name of our people before we became black, as they call us. And nobody says anything. You don't see any real men of color in the media unless they trans, gay, or connected to Caucasian people, either as a mulatto or married to a Caucasian. You don't see any representation of real men of color going our own way, representing our culture, praising the motherland, and being a strong patriarch man in his household. Not allowed. And if a man of color speak out and say something, he's scrutinized. If he doesn't look a certain way or wear a certain tie or wear a certain style of clothing, that the female counterpart will look at you and say, oh, you sexy. But if you wear traditional clothing or African clothing of your culture or represent something outside of the box of Caucasians, you never get the proper respect. I sit here all the time listening to the lies, the propaganda, and the disrespect of our race toward each other. There is no other race in this country that celebrate calling themselves a slanderous name as an identity toward who they are. For instance, you never hear a lot of people calling themselves spicks. You never hear Asian people calling themselves chinks. You never hear Italian people calling themselves wops or Jewish calling themselves kites or whatever the name is. It's offensive, and they right away will block you or take you off anything that's said. But the person of color could call himself a nigga, and it's broadcast a thousand times over. How is this even accepted? How is this even recognized that you can sit here and downcast yourself like this, and nobody says anything? But on the flip side, if a man of color hear another race calling him that, he ready to kill him, fight him, and beat him up. And they actually act like that's some justification in that. You should be beating up somebody who call yourself that that looks like you. But do you do it? No. Do you acknowledge that? No. It's ridiculous. I'm so sick and tired of it. How can a man try to find a wife when he can't even have a foundation to find or be civilized in a society that always put him out to be something negative. All the time. It's like nothing I do is acknowledged or respected. I try very hard to raise and take care of my children continuously with no help from the mother. And I don't even complain. But when you're stealing money from me and shit and, and got us in a situation where we can't even get our stimulus check because you didn't stole it and it goes to your account and refuse to give us anything, man, I, I don't know what to do about that. I'm beyond angry. And it's like, I don't got nobody helping me. I ain't got no relatives, no sisters, no brothers, nobody who's willing to give me what I need to make it. They ain't giving me nothing. But you be so quick to criticize and talk about a brother like me.
This is why I think that people of color need to wake up. So my situation is like this. I don't have the support of my people. I don't have a foundation that could get my people to work together. I don't have anybody who supports or believes in me. I'm on my own. Am I going to give up? No. Am I going to do something about it? Of course. I'm calling out to Roland Martin and every activist and every person of color to give me a space to tell my story as Wise Nubian, a.k.a. O-D-A-Y-S-A, Mom Barricide, so I can tell people how to be strong and to go forward. Peace.